Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we are back today with my Sims 4 Get to Work Let's Play, picking up exactly where we left off. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at y'all's comments and I don't know if you guys know, well why would you know? Why would you know this? But I got myself a second monitor. Um, so I'm finally rocking the dual monitor situation. My father generously donated me this monitor. Speaking of which, a lot of you guys have been asking for an update on that situation, um, which I would love to talk to you guys about. Um, but it's just a little bit fresh still. But the good news is we are rebuilding a relationship so we have reconnected it's um and i mean it's it's ma we're making progress <laughs> but it's not something that is i'm comfortable with going into a lot of depth over at this particular point in time but i know you guys worry about it and co are concerned about it and i love you all so much for it i love you so much for it um and I really appreciate it. But we are doing okay. We're doing good. I mean, we're moving in the right direction. So I just wanted to mention that because I had I had spotted a couple of comments here and there asking about it. So I know that you guys still want to know about it. Um, so I just wanted to interject that really quick. So I'm going to look at our comments really quick. Um, Josh SB or Espe said, Hey, Mai, if you put the satellite dish outside your house, you get an alien channel, which I think would be super cool. So we are definitely going to try that for Sherzies. Um, let's see what else. You can synthesize a food serum for free and that will boost her hunger so she won't be uncomfortable because of the microwave meals. By That was commented by Olivia Solis. So thank you so much, Olivia, for that suggestion. I will definitely keep that in mind because I know we run into that issue a lot when she goes to work. Um, your games, your gaming is awesome and I love your videos. Keep it going, my. Thank you so much, Fasolina1. So sweet of you to say. Um, so yeah, just, uh, some more of the same. And I believe everybody is pretty in support oh, gosh, uh, of moving in Miss, uh, Miss Thang, Miss Adeline. So, um, that's definitely something we're going to look into doing in this part. Let me go ahead and get her to repair this real quick though. Since she's feeling a little bit better, I'm gonna just have her repair that, mop her up, and then I'm gonna have her eat a little something, something before she goes to bed, which she definitely needs to hit the hay if we have to work in the morning, which... Oh, we don't have to work tomorrow. So that is fabuloso. I'm really excited about that because... What does that mean, guys? That means we can definitely... <gasps> See about getting this thing moved in. This is so cute. I don't know... Oh, that's right. This is one of those decor items. Somebody didn't make this. I was thinking somebody... um carved it for a second and I was like damn who's got the skills up in here but no <laughs> didn't quite happen like that somebody else made a cat pumpkin though who made this Orion Orion Confora I always say his name wrong Orion or Orion Confora so I'm gonna put this one outside too just because I mean we have it why not you oh, oh, oh pardon okay here we go I thought I had it for a moment can I rotate you, perhaps? There we go. All right, finally, at long last. All right, so girl is heading to sleep now because it's super late and she is way used to going to bed a lot earlier than that. She's been partying too hard um, of recent. All right, so she's getting her rest on. As soon as we get up, I'm thinking we're going to definitely hit the shower because she's getting a little grungy over there. Definitely going to hit the shower um and then we are going oh let's take a thoughtful shower so that maybe she'll have another discovery or eureka moment um so let's go ahead and have her do that and when she's finished since it's getting kind of nasty in there i'm gonna have her clean it up as well um let's see let's see let's see what can i tell you guys i kind of want to it's been a minute since I've recorded, so I wanted to update y'all a little bit of as to what's been happening in the life of my the boyfriend, Mr. Tony. Ooh, Lord, that is loud as can be. Holy cow! 
I don't know why that is so loud sometimes. And I don't, I don't know what it would be under. Would it be under UI sound? Like that doesn't sound like that makes sense. That doesn't sound right. So I don't think that's it. But what do I know, guys? What do I know? Um, but the boyfriend is currently at this very moment in an interview for a new and much better job. So I am so nervous for him and so excited for him at the same time. So I'm really looking forward to hearing about how that goes. Um, but yeah, just a lot of stuff been going on. I'm looking for a new job as well. Um, def ooh, 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 stop eating that girl. Girl, stop. Stop. Stop right this second. Why wouldn't you stop eating that on your own accord? Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Is this spoiled? No. So we'll grab a serving of that. I didn't even realize that food was spoiled. And, uh, get her fed and toasty. And then we can go ahead and invite her to hang out. And she said she'll be right over. Way too excited for her own good. Mm -hmm. All right, so come here, yep. Bobo. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, Shay. How you doing? I guess Shay came to visit too. I mean, that's, well, no, that's not cool right now because Adeline's kind of our lady business, you know? And we don't really want to overstep, you know? And that's kind of awkward for you to be there when... You know, they're having their little, their little moments, if you feel me. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and serenade her. Because why not? We love her. And we just found out she's a romantic. Like, what? It's a match made in heaven, guys. It's perfect. All right, so we're going to brighten her day. Just get a little bit of chatty chat going. She is already in a flirty mood, or at least she was a second ago. We're going to have a deep conversation, do a sexy pose, kiss her hand. All right, stand up, woman. I gotta kiss your hands. Okay, kiss my hands, woman. Or not. That's cool. We ain't gotta do all that business. But I do want to ask her to move in. <gasps> and she agreed. She's gonna move in, guys. I'm so excited. We're moving forward with this LP, and it's gonna be fabulous. So we're going to sell all lot furnishings and she should bring with her a pretty decent sum of money. Um, so I am thinking, why don't we get them a new house? If she brought in enough money, that is. It'd have to be a fairly small starter home type of dealio. But tell me that wouldn't look awesome. Look at, oh my God, they have tons of money. Goodness gracious, how much money did she have? Because we only had 3,000 simoleons in the bank when she got here. And now we have 41. Girl, where the hell was you living? That is crazy. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, I don't want to, the only thing is I don't want to lose these. So I need her to come out and water these and take care of those for a second. So now Adeline is a part of our family. I definitely want her to get a job. Um, she is one who... Huh wants to pursue the detective career and i know that's probably going to be really hard for us to do both a scientist and a detective it just means we're going to kind of have to switch off with them sometimes because the only way for them to advance in either of those career tracks is to actually go there and do well perform well at work um so that might be a little bit tough for us but you know what i'm up for the challenge are y'all up for the challenge because i'm up for the challenge. I think it'll be more than worth it with these two sims. I think Adeline is an incredible sim and I can't thank the original creator enough. I can't thank you enough. All right. So, um, Miss Thang is out here taking care of the garden and as soon as she's done, I'm gonna have her go ahead and weed everything as well. And last but not least, we'll have her harvest everything. And she just had another Eureka brain moment. Let's check her notes really quick. Um, for a cloning machine. Girl. Any common metal, any common crystal. We could go to work and clone somebody real quick. I'm kind of nervous about that. Wow, she had another freaking breakthrough moments so she has a simify serum in her brain now slimify serum i can imagine what that entails and i'm not sure it's something that i want in my life to be perfectly honest all right so i'm gonna sell all these items um we're fairly new 
at gardening. So uh, these aren't worth a whole lot of money, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll get there eventually. And I realized that um, I sometimes talk too loud when I'm recording because I think I'm not being loud enough, but I'm being plenty loud enough because this mic can plenty pick it up. <laughs> it's pretty fun. All right, so we're going to come talk to our lady friend for a little bit. We're going to hey, offer her a massage. Yep. Oh, oh, they are so cute oh. together. Oh. Like, seriously, they're oh, adorable. <laughs> Very that cute together. Sad. I cannot <laughs> deal with them. Oh, no. And she's focused because she had her scientist career eureka moment. Um, what I am going to have her do, though... <laughs> is scrap the serum. I don't know why there's a serum on it to begin with, but we're going to synthesize synthetic food real quick. Because why not? And because I am taking your advice, um, you guys' advice, so that she should have a better time when she's at work. Oh no, something went wrong. And then the whole freaking thing broke. Okay, well we'll have to fix that real quick. I do like that it's not as easy anymore to do things in The Sims 4. But at the same time, I hate that. <laughs> I hate that it's so difficult with certain things, but then easy with others. I don't know. That doesn't make a lot of sense. So that was basically a pointless thing for me to bring up. But, you know, it's just, I feel the way I feel. You know, what can you do about it? What can you do about it? All right, so what I want to do um, for Sherzy's is move these babies onto, oh my gosh, I just don't want them. Oh, I can put these in my inventory? Praise the Lord. Okay, so I'm just gonna put all of you guys in my inventory real quick. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a quick um, get rid of everything thing. So it should be pretty simple because this house is pretty barren. Like, let's be honest. It's a good bit bare over here. I'm gonna get rid of all this out here. Bring myself a little bit more move all. Um, get rid of all this. And then I'm just gonna complete it up by bulldozing the lot to give us the rest of that money. And then let's go straight to the gallery. And we have a really healthy budget to work with. So I am more than confident we will find an awesome little home for them. So we're gonna do that. We wanna do between 20 and 40,000, I think is a good way to go to start off. Ooh, look at this Greek inspired home. Three bedroom, two bath. Let's take a look, see Lou. I love, I love the idea of like a Greek style home because those, oh, my parents went to Greece and I am so jealous of them. I can't handle it because the pictures they have from Greece are incredible, guys. Incredible. Like, what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful country. Holy crap. So, as soon as I saw that, I was like, I know who you're speaking to and you're speaking to me. <laughs> All right, so what is this? Suburban, hobby room, home, family. Okay, so they have this kind of like extra room. Oh, I guess that's supposed to be like a garage. But it's only a two bedroom, which knowing them, they're eventually gonna wanna have kids, you know? Um, so I wanna, oh, this is empty. Okay, we don't wanna do an empty home. Um, but let's see what else we can find. I wanna do something different that I don't, I haven't, you know, but my style is so particular and it's kind of hard to do something that's a little bit different. Um, affordable, cute, pretty nice, cozy, totally sims. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, so yeah, this is just a basic three bedroom, but it's a cute little house. Um, cute little family home, a little outdoor area. It's really adorable, truly. It's very cute. Um, I'm just gonna keep looking for a second before I decide on something in particular. Uh, we have a modern starter home, but it's a one bedroom, so we're just gonna skip right over that real quick just because we want something a little bit larger riverside family living oh no it's another empty house that looked really promising so i was really excited for a second but it's empty um unfortunately 
so let's check this out. This is another three bedroom, two bathroom home with a lot of areas to potentially do some other things with. I kind of like this house. Why don't we do this one? Why not? And if we hate it, we can always get rid of it. Um, every applying this will replace. Okay. Yes, that's fine. Let's see how it looks guys. Ooh, ooh, I like it. I mean, we're not in Willow Creek or something, so the, the terrain details don't make as much sense, but let's take a looky-loo, and what do we have here? All right, so we've got a really nice uh, couple of upstairs bedrooms, really basic, really bare, but uh, we don't really need anything more than that. We've got a downstairs guest room, which I like, and we have a downstairs bathroom. Freaking excellent. Um, the only thing I am gonna do right off the bat is upgrade both of the showers. Since we have plenty of leftover money, since we went with a smaller, uh, lower scale, lower end budgeted home, we have a little bit of money that we can play with. And I absolutely think that showers are the place to invest, as well as beds. Um, so I'll probably replace the master bed as well just because I don't want there to be any issues. <laughs> um, but this is really cute. I really, really do like it so far. Um, so I think just to get them started, just as a beginner, <laughs> a beginner home, <laughs> it really fits the bill really well. I, I seriously do feel that way. Um, single mission double bed. Does that fit all right? I think it does, right? What do you guys think? Maybe I need to do something a little bit. Maybe that one? Or, um, oh, I kind of like that. Just to kind of break up the color scheme a little. I don't know. Or maybe, you know what I need to do? What I really need to do is put hardwood floor in here. So I think I'm just going to take this and continue it into this room because I don't know about y'all, but I really like hardwood floors. I'm just, I just dig them. They're awesome. But overall, absolutely love the look of this home. Um, I think this placement situation is kind of weird. So what I'm probably going to do is um, trying to switch things up a wee bit. I'm gonna make that white so that it seems to go a little bit better. Cause I feel like that didn't go very well to begin with. Um, and I'm going to make this kind of catty corner. And then I'm thinking, I'll leave that over there because why not? Um, in fact, maybe I'll put the plant over there. And then I'm thinking we'll put a nice decently sized TV right there. Like one of these bad boys or no one of these bad boys heck yeah we got an entertainment for days um but no for real that'll be fabulous this however i'm totally changing the color of to match a little better because i think it was just a wee bit too dark for my tastes and the last thing i'm gonna do is get them a computer even if it's not a super high-end one i think they definitely need a computer to be working on for sure um reliability three fun five huh well i guess it isn't really that much more expensive than the original one but we'll go with that one for now just because i'm trying to save money um so that eventually we can do another full upgrade but i think this is going to be so great for them for now i'm so excited so excited okay so back to the life of these Sims. Um, my girl, Annabelle, why don't you come? Oh wait, hold on. First of all, we have got to get them better appliances. That is just a given. There is no way I'm gonna let them work with that not so cuteness. Okay, all right, I'm gonna do this one even though it's all way but expensive. Ugh. I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> I don't care. I do need to change the colors though because I don't think that works at all. So we'll just stick with the full silver. That's fine. Um, and then I'm gonna do the matching refrigerator. There we go. I mean, these are like absolute necessities, guys. We have to have working 
well working appliances. So I'm gonna have her serve uh, some dinner real quick. Easy. We're gonna do uh -huh. some um, taco casserole. You know, she wants to make something a little bit fancy for her lady. For her lady. Um, meanwhile, my girl's already over here enjoying the huge flat screen. Um, I'm just gonna take a look around and see how our walls are looking. They're kind of bare, so I may have to go through and do a little bit of a decorational thing so that we have a little more going on in the home. But my biggest, the thing I'm most excited about is having all this extra room um, for our expanding family, you know? <laughs> uh, however, I think it's odd that the kids' room has the door and not the parents' room. So I'm going to change that really quick because I don't know about y'all. Tell me if you guys disagree with me, but would you not, like, want your kids to ha be able to have access to the outside at a very young age? Like, I wouldn't want that. I don't want my kids to be able to get outside when I'm not paying attention. Like, that is literally inviting your teenagers or your youngsters who are just being all daring to go right ahead and do what they want and go right outside. So, that's the thing we're not going to have. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to go ahead and put these plants back outside. Um, since we did put them in our inventory, which I was so excited about. Um, I'm trying to put some method to the madness, but I wind up just basically putting them all in a line. <laughs> because I'm boring, and that is just what I do. So, sorry about it. <laughs> but I do believe this was on the counter there, and I think this was as well. So I'm just going to put that back over yonder. So that we have a little bit of decorational business going on. But she still has space to cook the food, which I think is excellent. And she's almost finito, which is awesome. And it's it's only good quality, but it's okay, not a big deal. Right the second though, they're not very hungry. So I'm just gonna send her to watch some TV for a little while. Oh, never mind. Maybe um, Miss Lady wants to have some food. So, uh, naturally, we're going to ask her to be our girlfriend because I just forgot that we hadn't done that already. Um, they're clearly already committed to each other, so it's not even a matter of... That's not even a question, dude. Um, so, I'm just going to have them have a nice little time together. You know, the, it's, it's something new for them. It's a new leaf. It's a new page in the book of their life basically. Um, they get to, I mean, I remember how excited I was when me and Tony moved in together. So it's a big deal. It's a really, really, really big deal. And I think they're just kind of riding the high right now, the blissful high of just, <sighs> I'm at home with the one I love, you know? So cute. So cute. I love them so much. I need to give them a little bit of a makeover though. I think an updated outfit for both of them is much needed. Even though I just recently updated Annabelle's outfit, I think it's time for another one personally. So that's something we might have to tackle in the next part. Um, I don't understand why you didn't eat the freshly cooked food, Annabelle, that was like right there. That makes sense. Totally. 100%. Um, all right. Let me go ahead and get her to use the restroom. And then I'm thinking our ladies can have a nice little time upstairs if you feels me. So we're going to have them do a little bit of woohoo. Woo hooey em. And then send my girls off to sleepy bye. I really do like Adeline's sleepwear though. It's super cute. So cute. She's such a cutie. Look at her. She's so cute. <laughs> She's like, oh, that was fun. Thank you. Alrighty, guys. My boyfriend is calling me right now, and we are about at our wits' end, anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up right here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you have not already. And leave me your comments, thoughts, suggestions down below. Do you want us? I mean, what do you what do you want us to do next? Do you want us to go ahead and move into? perhaps adopting i mean they certainly have the funds as of right now to support a child so that's something that we could think about i mean but then again they're not even married yet so we got we got some time on that but just let me know let me know what y'all are thinking let me know
All right, guys. Love you so much. Thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.